Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You can see that I'm using macOS Sonoma on my PC and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS Sonoma on any PC, whether you are using Intel or AMD. It's recommended to take a backup of your Windows PC. If you find any error or any problem, let me know in the comment section below. If your PC doesn't have the graphics acceleration and your Wi-Fi Bluetooth not working, LAN is not working, then you can visit my channel and follow the macOS playlist. So, without getting much more delayed, let's get started. First of all, just open the browser and search for Pooz, click on the very first link, scroll a little bit and from here download the latest version. And so now you will have to search for Olaria and then just click on the very first link. Now from here click on vanilla images, scroll a little bit and here you will find Sonoma. Just click on here media file link and from there you will have to download macro Sonoma file. And after downloading the Sonoma file, click on EFA folders. Now you will have to download these files. CPUZ file explorer plus plus miniature partition and this is the command the command will be given in the description ocat tool link will be given in the description now after downloading everything you will have to install the CPUZ after installing CPUZ just open the CPUZ application click on yes now here you will have to note down your processor code name in my case code name is coffee in case maybe it's different you will have to note down the name and so now Go to the browser and scroll a little bit and here you will find the EFA files. If you're using desktop, then you'll have to download from here and if you're using laptop, you'll have to download from notebook stories. And finally, if you're using AMD processor, then you'll have to download from here. Now after downloading everything, you can close your browser. Close the application too, you go to download folder and now you'll have to install Minute Partition and have to extract the three zip files. Now after extracting, you can delete the zip files select them and delete now select these folders and move to desktop it's done now you'll have to open the rufus click on yes now click on select go to download folder and from the drop down select all files now select the older sonoma and click on open it's selected now you will have to insert pen drive to use a minimum 32 gigabytes when the pen drive is inserted it will detect it automatically now you'll have to click on start but before starting, you'll have to mind that everything on your pen drive will be erased. Make sure everything is backed up. Now click on start, click on OK. The process has installed. You'll have to wait here for 15 to 30 minutes. Now when it's done, you will start ready. Just click on close. Now you'll have to open the minute repetition. Click on yes. Click on launch application. Now here you'll find the EFI of your pen drive. Right click on it. Click change layer. Click on OK. Click on apply. Click on yes. Now it's done. Click on cook. Now it's done. Close the application. Now you will have to open the OCAT. Now you will have to open the OCAT folder. Again, go to the folder, scroll a bit, and here you will find the auxiliary tool. Just open it. Now you will have to click on the file, click on open, go to desktop, select the EFI folder, go to EFI, select OC, and click on the config playlist, click on open. Now go to PI tab, from there, click on generate click on save now click on file click on save now close it now you will have to open file explorer plus plus folder right click on the file explorer plus plus select to run as administrator click on yes now go to desktop select the efa folder select this two right click on them select copy now go to this pc and this is the efi drive open it right click on here paste it click on replace file destination now it's done. Close everything. Now you will have to create a drive minimum 100 gigabytes to install macOS Sonoma. I already have a drive. If you have already a drive, just rename the drive as macOS. Now you will have to restart your PC and access the BIOS menu of your PC. To access the BIOS menu, you can refer this folder. Otherwise, you can search on Google. On the BIOS menu, you will have to set up the following main parameters. After changing all the settings, click on exit. And now this time you will have to access the boot menu of your PC. To access the boot menu and if it's full otherwise you can search in google from the boot menu select your pen drive and hit the arrow in the screen you will have to select install mac with sonoma and click on the arrow key now you'll have to click on this utility click on continue now from the drop down click show all devices now select macOS drive and click on erase from the drop down select apfs click on erase now it's done. Close the disk utility. Select install macOS Sonoma. Click on continue. 
again click on continue now click on agree again click on agree now this time you'll have to select your macros drive and click on continue now the installation has installed it will take 15 to 30 minutes while the installation your pc will start several times whenever your pc restores you'll have to access the boot menu and select open drive and boot from the us this time you'll see mac was installer select it and hit the enter key now on the stage you'll have to wait for 15 to 30 minutes This time you will see macOS. Select the macOS and hit the arrow key. Again, select the macOS and hit the arrow key. Now on this page, select your country and click on continue. Again, click on continue. Click on now. Select my computer doesn't connect to internet. Click on continue. Again, click on continue. Click on continue. Select not now. Click on agree. Again, click on agree. Now here you'll have to put your PC name. Account name will be automatically populated. Now you have to choose your password. And after choosing password, click on continue. Now click on another location. Click on continue. And check this. Click on continue. Click on set up later. Now choose your theme and click on continue. Now click on quit. Here you can see that macOS Sonoma has been installed. Now you will have to open this drive, set up the files and copy the desktop. Now close it. Open the files. Now open this application. Open for configurator. Now from the top menu, click on tools. Select to mount your Pi. Now here is your OS drive and, and this is the USB. Click on mount partition. Put your password and click on OK. Click on open partition. Put the partition here. Now again click on run partition. Now open this EFA folder. Put this here. Select this two folders. Right click on them. Click on copy. Now open this EFA folder. Right click on here. Click on paste two items. Now it's done. Close it. Now you have to restore your PC to Windows. Now you'll have to click on start, search for CMT, select run as administrator, click on yes, now paste this command, this command will be given in the description too, now hit the enter key, now it's done, now close it. Now whenever you restart your PC, your PC will boot into macOS or Windows without the pen drive, select your OS and hit the enter key. Finally, it's done.